The last goal of the rubric is goal number five, legal requirements. First, course sites should be in compliance with the Americans with Disabilities Act. As you prepare your content to be delivered in the online format, keep in mind that students have diverse needs. The majority of your class may not have any form of physical disability, but one of your students may be blind, deaf, or have difficulties concentrating. Tim Berners-Lee, inventor of the World Wide Web, said, The power of the internet is in its universality. Access by everyone, regardless of disability, is an essential aspect. Your online course should be no different. Ensuring your course is accessible to a wide range of learners is not as challenging as it might sound. Blackboard, the company that produces my courses, is committed to accessible applications, ensuring the environment itself is as accessible as possible to all users. By following a few simple guidelines, as an instructor, you can provide the same level of instruction to everyone. For example, make sure your information design is solid and logical. Also, keep the layout of your course site clean and simple. Use the same layout for as many pages as possible to help build predictability. Also, choose high contrast color combinations for text, backgrounds, and graphics. Again, keep backgrounds simple. White works best with a dark color for textual content, such as black or dark browns and grays. One other simple thing you can do is to provide textual descriptions and titles for images, videos, and media resources you include in your course site. So if you link students out to a video, you might just provide a quick couple of sentences as to what that video is actually about. Secondly, your course site should consider best practices for copyright. The United States government describes copyright as a form of protection provided by the laws of the United States to the authors of original works of authorship, including literary, dramatic, musical, artistic, and certain other intellectual works. This protection is available to both published and unpublished works. Copyrightable works you may be interested in using in an online course site could include literary works such as stories or articles, computer programs, images, graphics, audio recordings, documentaries, or even Hollywood films. Some copyright law has struggled to keep up with modern technology, but copyright protection is still automatic. Unless it is explicitly stated otherwise, you must assume that materials you are using from an outside source are protected. If you're not sure if you can legally use a piece of content in your course, you can contact the individual who created the content. Often the owners are willing to share their work, provided they receive recognition. To request permission to use text, an image, video, or anything from a website that is copyrighted, identify yourself in your role and include your school's name. If you do receive permission, keep a hard copy in your files and add appropriate acknowledgement of the permission on your page. This could also just be as simple as saving the email. Be sure that anything you use in your courses is either produced by you or for you or is used with proper permissions. If you have legal questions, consult a copyright specialist or contact instructional development.